I wanted to ask you about this, the distinction you draw between the arrogance of entitlement and the ease of privilege, and your suggestion that perhaps this says something about the difference between elite schools in the US and elite schools in Europe. <laughs> Um, the idea of the arrogance of entitlement uh, versus the ease of privilege uh, d does a few things in the book. The first is to kind of suggest a change in the character of the American elite. So um, I kind of tell this, you know, sort of light historical story about a move from the elite as thinking of themselves as a class to the elite as thinking of themselves as very talented individuals. And in that way, the kind of arrogance of entitlement is tied to a, a sort of class dynamics, um, an idea that the position really matters and that certain people are kind of entitled to hold a position, and that is associated with extreme arrogance. Now, um, I think this could be challenged a little bit uh, because I, I attempt to contrast that with the idea that um, class doesn't matter that much among the modern day elite, which is not to say that class doesn't matter, it's that it doesn't matter for how they think about themselves. And they often, in in, in their rhetoric, aggressively challenge the idea of entitlement or that they've inherited anything. And by class here, just, just quickly, what I mean is that the, they share a, a kind of culture, um, they share a set of social ties, and they share a kind of uh, association with institutions like St. Paul's, like Harvard, and even the institution could be their family. Um, and so part of the move uh, to the, the, the ease of privilege is the individualization of this, how it's individual level talents. Um, and uh, I think that part of the historical story could also map onto a distinction between the Europe and, and the US, in large part because in the United States, uh, um, Americans are highly attuned to racial politics. I think in a way that uh, Europeans aren't, to be um, quite blunt about it. I mean, I think uh, I've just come back from um, France, and never in my life have I been asked with more consistency where I'm from. And um, they don't mean, are you from New York? They actually want, they want a narrative of, of my lineage. Um, but in, here in Britain, as an example, I think that there's a, people are quite attuned to class politics, not as attuned to racial politics. And in the US, um, it's sort of the reverse. We're very attuned to racial politics because of the Civil War and because of the Civil Rights Movements, and not so attuned to class politics. And this creates a kind of tension around the idea of class politics. But I think that if I were to challenge this idea a little bit, um, I think that uh, people who think of themselves as individuals have a certain arrogance to them. And the arrogance that they have is the belief that they are really talented, that what explains their position is the fact that they're hardworking, smart, and have a set of skills that other people don't have. And class position may have an arrogance of its position, but it doesn't necessarily have that kind of arrogance of just how the quality of the kind of individual you are um, as your sort of core. But for me, the reason I make this argument, even given that sort of slight problem, is that I think that it's important to recognize the ways in which ease across a host of situations is really important, particularly for the American context. So um, the argument of ease is that rather than position yourself within a class, within a group of people, you position yourself as a kind of person who can move very freely across situations or contexts. And the argument that I make uh, about cultural omnivores is really the best example about this. So to think about the ranges of music that people listen to, the kinds of meals that they eat, they represent um, an omnivorousness, a vision of a kind of flat world that you're at ease at, rather than a hierarchical world of class divisions where you belong somewhere because of some inheritance or association.